dragon, god, and son of the god. A Sumerian story of Genesis. A prelude to the Mayan teachings for the days of destiny. What you are about to read or hear is taken from an understanding of many historical accountings, bridging both hemispheres of the earth. For each story existing in the Bible, there are even more existing in the time of ancient records of the Americas. I am certain that there are others as well. I have spoken to the Aboriginal elders from Australia and Africans who have told me of their records. Also, there are some very interesting legends in the Pyrenees of Spain and Ireland. England and Greece. The accountings of the Mayan, Inca, Kogi, and Hopi speak of the migrations of people originating from here after the demise of Atlantis. What we must realize in this revealing of our true history is that during the time of Atlantis, the Palladians had control of the Atlantean Empire. The historical records herein described occurred after the demise of Atlantis, when Earth had been abandoned or lost. There were, however, those who did survive, taking shelter in the caverns and passageways beneath the surface world. Upon the arrival of the gods, the Nephilim, Enlil and en Enki, and others unexpected groups of Cro-Magnon and previous hybrid races, were already beginning to develop upon the surface world after the destruction. What is interesting is that in the tablets I have found in North America, the reference to Egyptian, Hebrew, Celtic, and the old language as it is called, refer to the same gods and goddesses that are named in Sumeria by the Celts, Norsemen from Northern Europe, and the British Islands. Apparently, there was a time here in North America when the splendor that was Egypt as well as Maya existed here simultaneously. As fantastic as this might sound, very shortly my colleagues and I will present this information to the world as hard evidence to these words. Some of the findings you have seen in this publication. And it appears there were forces on both hemispheres who tampered with human life and the natural order of evolution, as well as with other life forms existing here on Terra. They tampered with them environmentally as well as biologically. Genetically, we were altered so extensively that for the most part, we have no genetic, we have no genetic memory link to our past. Whoo, this is the amnesia. The amnesia, we, we forget birth canal, fuckery in between the birth canal and the process of entering flesh suit, earth walk, lifetime, and such. If that makes any sense, words, but they're a yeah, bit of a riddle. Yeah. Mm. 
there is a break off point where the information in every culture simply ends, leaving no trail. You can apply that to history and her story and mystery, my story. Hmm. Oh.